Hi everyone, welcome back to another Animal Crossing Happy Home Paradise video. So I was just playing and then Lottie immediately threw me into building this school. Sorry I didn't start off the video how I usually would, but I really wasn't expecting her to make me build the school right away. I didn't really get a choice in it, so I just have to record right now because I told you guys I'd record building the school with you all. So I guess we're just getting straight into it today. When I think of school, I think of yellow. So I definitely want to have yellow in this colour scheme. So I want to make something happy. I want to make a happy school. Thinking yellow and blue, those are the colours I think of when I think of school. Let me know what colours you think of when you think of school. Because I know in America sometimes you guys don't even have uniforms, unless it's for like sports. But in England we basically, all our schools have uniforms. My secondary school actually became an academy the year I joined, so the uniforms went from jumpers with a logo on to blazers, ties and shirts. We actually all have, <laughs> I'm sure Americans will find this quite funny, but we actually had school colours like in Hogwarts. He had red, blue, green and yellow exactly like Hogwarts. If you're wondering what colour I was, I was blue so I had to wear a blue tie. We weren't called Ravenclaw and Gryffindor and all that though. <laughs> Is this okay for the exterior? Yeah, I'm thinking I really like this. Great, it looks wonderful. With that taken care of, let's head inside. It needs a lot of work in here too. I'm so glad you're helping out with this. So first things first, a school needs chairs and desks, right? When you're ready, press right and take a look at the order tab to see everything we'll need. Although, a room of this size will start feeling pretty cramped if we bring in too much furniture. I know, just the thing, a technique to adjust the size of the room, it's an old trick of the trade. So if a room feels too large or too small for your vision, press down to switch into decorating mode. From there, press left to begin adjusting the size of the room. Yes, I'm so glad we finally unlocked this. Got all that, it's easier done than said. Let me know when it's ready for me to take a look, okay? Alright, let's get to work designing a school! I'm really excited for this. Let's get to it! From here you can change the size of the room, add or remove windows, and make changes to the entrance. Awesome! So I don't know what type of classroom I'm going to make. I'm thinking 8x10 will look good if you want like a row of desks. I remember in Happy Home Designer you got to make like the locker room, the hallway, and two whole classrooms. That was so cool. Looks like we're just doing one room in Happy Home Paradise though. I don't mind that though. Okay, so I definitely want windows because like I said, I don't want a sad school. I had a very horrible time when I was at school and I don't want to recreate that today. I want to create a school where everyone is happy and everyone gets treated nicely. Note the minimum amount of each furniture type you'll need. We can see what types you need under order along with how many pieces are required. Okay, so we need one teacher's desk two desks and four chairs. I don't like this teacher's desk, I have to be honest with you, because this looks like where they'd have an assembly. Classrooms here don't usually have this little podium, at least not regular schools. Maybe private fancy schools do, but definitely not the schools I went to. They did not have, they did not have podiums that the teacher stands in front of. We had whiteboards and projector boards. There was chalkboards in the really old classrooms, but they kind of all got a makeover when I joined. But the teachers typically just have a desk on the side of the room that they sit out for their computer, um, at least here in the UK anyway. So I want to have a desk, not a podium. Although with this chalkboard, it really does look like a Japanese classroom. Maybe we should go with a Japanese theme instead. Oh no, that doesn't count as a teacher's desk. Looks like this is our only option. That's okay though. It's less fancy. I love that for us. I really love that little book item with the ribbon around it. That has to be one of my new favourite items. It's so cute and it just looks cute no matter where you put it. So typically in a classroom we're going to have some cabinets with like folders and marking books in. I was hoping we could use these to build on top of that cabinet but looks like you can't do that. That's a shame. We could have trophies, I guess, awards the students have won. I want this school to be happy. So we could even go for like a nursery theme, for like little kids. But I have not been to a nursery in a very long time. <laughs> not since I was like six. I don't know how nurseries look nowadays. I think I want to make this school based around my favourite subjects in school. My favourite subjects in school were art and English literature. Which both I decided to study for my A-levels. For you Americans that's like college I guess. Because in the UK we have secondary school, college and then university. Whereas you guys I think you go high school, college right? I have no idea how it works for you guys, but basically when we got to choose our very specific subjects we wanted to study, I chose art, English literature, and I did choose textiles, like making things with fabrics, clothes and that, but 
the class got cancelled because not enough people chose it so they stuck me in photography which was an absolutely chaotic class it was just the entire class was girls same as my art class and <laughs> um the teacher was not very good oh my goodness my photography class was absolutely awful and a lot of the time we would just steal each other's pictures just so we had the work done and I did not do very good at photography I did try but I didn't do very good in art I didn't do very good either but that's just because my art teacher does anyone else have this where you're from but art teachers hate Japanese art like they will not mark it they will be like they say you're free to study whatever you want and make your project on whatever you want but if you choose anime or manga or anything that's not western they don't like it but they say you can but they don't like it it's so weird so I didn't actually get that very good of a mark on my art class either my teacher didn't particularly like me I think she found me annoying probably my voice I have had that before where teachers just hate me because they hate my voice <laughs> but I don't think this teacher particularly liked me I didn't particularly like her either and other than that my English literature class which started off being the most popular class I think in my school I think we had like 30 students in that class and then by the end of the first term there was like I want to say like 10 and by the end of the entire year there was four of us it was me two other girls and one boy and the boy stopped coming to the lessons like near the end of the year he just stopped coming so it was just me and these two other girls it was so nice though I really do think schools would do better having less students because the class was so small it was very intimate we actually got loads of work done I wasn't that afraid to speak when the teacher ask me a question because the class was so small so I didn't really get any social anxiety because there was literally only three other people in the room who I all was quite close with especially after being the only ones in the class for a year so yeah it was actually really nice so I have very fond memories of my English literature class and I did get quite a good grade so that made me happy so for this school in Animal Crossing I'm going to base it off of I think I'm going to make it a very creative school I want it to be happy creative and colorful one of the things I hated so much about school was how every room is so bland and boring but in this school we're going to encourage creativity uniqueness and freedom i just want this school to celebrate all things unique and it just seemed like a very comfortable calming and nice place because i know for a lot of people and myself when we think back to school it does not give us a very calming feeling <laughs> i know for me especially my anxiety disorder was at its worst when i was at school i just did not have a great time you guys all know i got bullied a lot and struggled with friends it's very very hard being a girl with social anxiety with a strange sounding voice and not being very well off because as you guys know I'm lower class as well and so it was just hard I didn't really fit in and I always felt weird I'm thinking on this area we could have like a little showcase here's the awards people have won or here's some notes on like the latest things the students have done in my art class there was a lot of paintings all over the wall like paintings the students had done and I was always so proud if one of my pieces of art got put on the wall I remember I made this really cute drawing of Hatsune Miku and it got put on the wall and it was on the wall for like a year and at the end of the year we were supposed to go and collect it and I went there to collect my drawing because I loved it so much and someone had got rid of it and I've never seen that drawing since and the exact same thing happened with my exam for our art exam we had to make loads of stuff for our project and a big final piece my mum went to the school to collect my final piece so I could take it home after they'd examined it and it just wasn't there <laughs> does anyone else that studied art just like have all their artwork missing like the teachers just stole it it just went missing or nobody cared about it enough to make sure it was there and my mum ended up bringing home someone else's artwork so I just have someone else's <laughs> painting and I had someone else's painting in my house for ages my school was very chaotic and not very organized at all but yeah like I was saying earlier my school had different colors different houses there was a blue school yellow school red school and green school it wasn't like separate schools your homeroom was just at a different area of the school and you just had a different color uniform it didn't mean anything so I did realize that a lot of the loud and popular kids are in yellow. I was in blue and if you're wondering what Hogwarts house I am, uh, first time I did the test I actually got Ravenclaw and I was like oh my goodness it's the same as my actual school color but I've taken the test many times in recent years and I usually get Hufflepuff so but I do resonate with both houses so I like to say I'm a Ravenpuff because it's really hard for me to make a decision on which one I prefer. So I definitely want to have an accent all here because I just think it will brighten the place up. Obviously we want to keep a school professional but I also do want to 
want it to be fun. But I'm hoping the villagers that come to my school here are going to love it. I just want this to be the happiest school around. I actually had tables and chairs just like this in my art class as well, so this really makes me feel nostalgic. I'd love to hear in the comments what your guys' experience at school was, if you enjoyed it, if you're still going to school, how is it going, and what's your favourite thing to study at school? Something that we get forced to study here in the UK is a language. We have to either study French or Spanish, and surprisingly, I'm actually pretty good at French. I got really good grades in my French exam, and my teacher said I have the cutest French voice, so that made me feel really happy. So yeah, surprisingly enough, I'm actually kind of good at languages, I think. Please don't ask me to say anything French because I will butcher it, and I know a lot of you that watch me are actually French, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I got pretty good grades and I actually didn't hate French, it was actually fun, I got to sit with a couple of my friends and it was nice. I actually really enjoy learning languages, I think it's fun. I want this classroom to have plants and stuff to make it seem more happy. We need some books or something so that the kids have like some references to go off of if they're drawing or painting, some books to study. I want this to be a school for all ages, like I want this to be a place where little kids and adults and teenagers can all come here because when I look at the villagers, all of them are different ages in my head and I imagine the villagers that are going to come here are not going to seem like the same age. That's why I decided to not go for a nursery theme even though that would be very cute and colourful and happy. I'm thinking bookshelf over here because what's a classroom without a bookshelf? You also need some lockers and I really love these yellow ones, they're really going to brighten the room up. And they go with our yellow colour scheme as well. Maybe some shelves where we'd store paint or have some plants and sculptures on display. We probably need a tap to clean paint brushes. All my art classes had this and actually I really want to do that. Do we have a sink we could use? <gasps> we do! Hand washing area! This is perfect! Yes, oh my goodness, this white one. Oh my goodness, we go over here and wash our paint palettes at the end of the lesson. It's so nice. Okay, this is coming along quite well. To those of you that have finished school like me, do you miss it? Because I don't miss school. <laughs> People said to me a lot growing up that your school years are the best years of your life and to enjoy them. I have to disagree here because school was the worst years of my life and as soon as I left that's when my life truly began. So I just want to let you all know that if you're struggling with school right now and you are not enjoying it, please don't listen to these crazy people that say school is the best year of your life because they are not telling the truth. If your school life sucks, I promise you it will get better. Please try to get through it and things will improve and get better once you leave. Um, I know when you're at school everything seems like the end of the world because you're constantly judged on grades and tests and people, so many people that you're just kind of forced to be friends with because you're going to be with them for the next like six years. It's just the worst. Oh my goodness, I love this little comic thing. Someone could be making a comic book in their class. That's so cute. I noticed this in so many American TV shows that all the desks are separate from each other and all of them are facing the front. Whereas in British classrooms, we'll have loads of tables all connected together, all the students facing different directions and it's a bit more chaotic and they like to put us in groups a lot and encourage group work. I don't know if American schools are still like that because that's all I've ever seen in TV shows is the separate desks all facing one way, which I really don't like. The only time we have that in the UK is in exam rooms when we're having like our big exams. That's when we'll have separate desks. Again, I don't know what it's like in fancy private schools but in the normal secondary school this is how it is. At least where I'm from, maybe it's different where you guys are from please let me know. I'm really interested to know about that because I think it's interesting how different schools choose to lay out their classrooms because I think it does affect the way you learn to be honest. Whenever I had a good seat in a classroom I felt like I was able to enjoy the lesson a lot more. So with this school I'm creating I'm imagining that everyone here is here voluntarily. Nobody is forced to come to this school. Everyone is here because they want to be here and they want to learn. I put a little hamster here. In primary school we had a pet hamster. I remember that and her name was Nibbles and she was so cute and we got to write stories about her in creative writing lessons and I think we were allowed to take her home and take care of her but but I think that's making it seem too much like a nursery. So I think I'm going to change that. Maybe over here could be like an area where someone's doing work on their own because they need some private time. Or maybe it could be like a little award area, like showcasing all the work and what someone's going to win for their piece of art, like a little art competition area. That'd be really fun. Also, I'm so happy this owl clock is back. This was one of my favourite items in Wild World and I've really missed it. I'm so happy it's back. It's so cute. And once I get hold of it myself, I'm definitely going to try and put one in my own house in my island. He's just so cute. Look at his little eyes go. <laughs> 
<laughs> the only downside of building these facilities is you don't get to decorate the exterior. I would have loved to make the exterior of a school. Maybe one of the villages will have a school as their theme for their house though. I know one of the lime villages is based off a teacher so maybe he has a school for his home design. I really want to put a teddy bear in this room because I feel like teddy bears just always make a room seem comforting. And like this could be an award for an art competition. It's blue and yellow, same colour as the school. Yes, it's so cute. It makes the room seem so much more comfy and calming. That's definitely the vibe I want to go for. I want this to be a place of learning but also a place of comfort and I want everyone in this school to feel like a little family. Also I just realised I'm sure for a lot of you that live in cities and stuff the idea of just having like three other people in your class and that's it is insane. Please do remember I'm from the countryside so there's not that many people going to my school in the first place. So yeah having classes of not many students is quite common here but honestly it makes me laugh so much that they cancelled my textiles class because they didn't think enough people chose it but then my English class carried on until the end with just four students. <laughs> Oh, I just realised as well, I didn't ask you guys. Did your school have uniforms? I'd be really interested in that. And if you went to like a fancy private school or you go to a fancy private school, I'd love to hear about that because sometimes I wish I was like a rich person that got to go to a fancy private school. I did do the special exam you have to do here in the UK to get into a grammar school, which is like a fancy school here. So basically, if you're one of the smarter kids, you get chosen to do these special exams and these exams get you into the fancy grammar schools here in the UK. So I got chosen to do the exam because I was smart I guess but I didn't pass it unfortunately so I wasn't able to go to the grammar school. Sometimes when I'm in the car and I see the girls leaving the fancy girls grammar school in their cool uniforms I think that could have been me if I was just a bit smarter but instead I went to the school of everyone else and with boys and they ruined my life. <laughs> And sometimes I think maybe I would have enjoyed school a lot more if I went to the girls grammar school. Anyways, I think I've been rambling about my sad times at school for too long now. I don't want to make this video too sad because like I said, I want this to be a happy and calming school. If I was a teacher, I'd really want to make sure that all my students feel comfortable and happy in the space. Oh no, I really wanted to use this radio but it just plays random songs. I don't want it to play KK Dirk. I love the radios in Animal Crossing but I just wish I could stop them from playing KK Dirk because that song creeps me out so much. Oh, and KK Hypno, which is the song from Ica Village. Because sometimes I'll put radios around my island and then I'm walking around my island and then I just hear the creepiest music. I hate it so much. Oh my goodness, we could have like school magazines and it could be like the school newspaper or something. It's so cute. I wonder as well, are we going to get to choose like which villagers come here and their uniforms? Because I would love to do that. This little succulent in the tin pot really just reminds me of something that you would see in a classroom, like a kid has made this little plant pot. Oh, this is so cute. It could be like the teacher's certificate or like the class has won an award for something. If I was able to make another classroom, I would maybe make a music classroom. I absolutely love music and I'd really love to learn how to play music but sometimes thinking about it it's just a bit too one-on-one -on -one for me my social anxiety if you didn't know i do have a keyboard and a guitar but i'm not very good at playing either of them and i've never gone to lessons other than the ones we were forced to do when i was at school because you have to like sit in a room with just one person and it's very like it's just a bit scary for someone like me <laughs> luckily there are other places to learn music on your own though like on youtube so if i ever did want to learn properly i could just learn that way hi i'm doing a voiceover because past me could not think of anything else to talk about so as you can probably see, I decided to make a huge art wall and I just imagined this is full of the students' artwork on display and also just famous paintings for them to study. In my art classroom, all the walls were covered in paintings like this, so. So with the rest of the classroom, I decided to just fill it with a lot of clutter. We've got so many paintings, plants. I also added like a broom to sweep the floor with. And I just wanted the whole place to just be full of creations and celebrating the creativity of the students. And my whole idea for this was that I just wanted it to be the happiest and most comfy place to learn how to make art and make friends and just create things because I'm a very creative person and I'd love to see how you guys have made your schools because maybe you made like a music classroom or a maths classroom, a very strict teacher's classroom. There's so many ways you could have gone about this. I love that Animal Crossing gave us the freedom to create whatever we want and I'd be so excited to see your creations. So as always, if you've made a school in Happy Home Paradise and you want me to see it, please feel free to tag me in your pictures on Instagram or Twitter. I'd love to see your creations and I'm sure they're all amazing. Also, side note, has anyone noticed that that one painting with the fancy frame looks like Hogwarts? I'm pretty sure it's meant to be Hogwarts. I feel like I spoke about Harry Potter and Hogwarts way too much in this video already, <laughs> but here I am bringing it up yet again. Anyways, I think I've been rambling long enough and this video is long enough as it is, so with all that out the way, why don't we take a look at the finished school? 
So let me give you a tour of the classroom. As you can see, we went with a yellow and blue and green theme. It's very colourful and happy. It's very art based. So this table on the right is how a lot of tables look in English schools, in case you were wondering. Here's the front of the classroom. The teacher would sit here and watch over the students as they create their work. I customised the blackboard to have lots of writing on it so we were discussing like art techniques or studying an artist for example. Um, we have the bookshelf and lots of posters on the wall. I think in this classroom you'd never know how many people are going to turn up so we do have some cushions and extra seats in case extra students show up. We've got the sink to wash the paint palettes and lots of paintings and stuff to look at on the walls. And as you can see I just tried to make a very unique and happy and calming welcoming space. So I hope you guys like it. I love it. So why don't we talk to Lottie? How are things going? I'm finished. Great. Now the next thing to think about will be who can we invite to work here? You can always change the staff later but who would you hire right now? Choose facility staff. You can choose which clients will work in a facility. Oh my goodness. Mo? I can't imagine Mo being a teacher. Vivian would make a great teacher though. She definitely seems like she looks like the oldest. So I'll have her as a teacher for now. Okay, I'll go call our new teacher. Wait, before we do this, we need to give our new school a name. If you have any ideas, I want to hear them. But if you don't right now, that's okay. We can name it later. Sure, let's give it a name. Alright, what were you thinking? Well, since this whole idea for this school was that it's going to be a very welcoming, calming and happy place to be, I'm going to call it a happy school. I know that sounds really childish it's not very creative but I just want this school to be a happy place and I know that's something a lot of kids didn't get and I want this to be the happiest place for my villagers to go learn so I think I'm going to call it happy art school oh thinking about it I probably should have made Eloise be the teacher since she's the one that wants to be an artist I like it you definitely want to name it happy art school great we've got ourselves a name okay let's take a look wait why is you the teacher <laughs> Well, I called everyone. Once I got a teacher in here, it seemed like we needed some students too. And now everyone is learning thanks to you. Oh, we should take a photo for our design portfolio. And after that, another one outside, just to celebrate the occasion. Okay. I don't know why Stu was sat in the teacher's desk, so I'm going to put Vivian back here. Look at our students. We've got Marlo, Mo, Stu and Eloise. I think I'll definitely come back here and make Eloise the teacher instead, but for now she can be a student with everyone else. And we do get to choose their uniforms. I definitely think Marlo looks like the emo art student, you know what I mean? <laughs> I've got to give him these glasses, they're just so perfect. <laughs> okay, there we go, everyone's all dressed up now. And doesn't this just look like the happiest, loveliest classroom? I'd love to go to school here. Okay, let's head outside. Oh my goodness! And now, we're gathered here to take a special celebratory photo of Happy Art School. Yes! Oh my goodness, this is so cute! Thank you very much! The island is a little bit more beautiful today thanks to Lulu and Happy Art School. I can't wait to see what the future holds for its students and teachers. Alright, we need to hear from the person in charge of decorating Happy Art School. Lulu, a few words? I'm saying some words! No, I'm so happy! And last but not least, let's take that celebratory photo. Oh my goodness, we actually get to take it! Yay! Oh my goodness, this is so cute! Oh, <laughs> oh we get to take as many photos as we like! They should definitely do it like this with the ceremonies for the museum and shops and stuff on the island. This is so much more convenient! I love it! <laughs> Hooray! We did it! I think it came out lovely, but... What do you think of this photo, Lulu? I think it's perfect. I agree. I think it's perfect too. That'll do it. Safe travels, everyone. Hooray! Ooh, you know, I think we did a great job. I went to take a peek inside. What a good-looking school. It's so nice. I bet I do well even in my worst subjects. Wardell was impressed with how polished everything looks too. Oh, he liked the polishing? I agree. Our school is top-notch thanks to Lulu's work. Who said you can't learn anything in paradise? I heard that Autie taught you her little trick about resizing rooms. So that means... Whoa! What is it, Nico? I've just come up with a brilliant idea. <laughs> but I'm going to keep it to myself for now. What? That's not fair. I promise you'll tell us soon, alright? 
Anyway, moving on. That was a very large job and you'll get paid appropriately, Lulu. Here's 25,000 Pocky for all your hard work. Oh my goodness, thank you. That did take me forever. My voice is actually a bit sore from talking so much. I have grand plans, so I'm sure I need your help with another facility in the future. If we keep growing the client base, I just know we'll get the permits we need. Anything is possible. Oh, by the way, let me know if you ever want to freshen up the school or remodel. And, because it needs saying one more time, thank you for all of your help. Okay, do you want to call it a day? Yeah, I think I'm going to say I'm finished for now. Alright, take it easy and rest up. Okay, so I think we've worked hard enough today, everyone. Thank you all so much for joining me in creating the school. That was so fun. And I honestly really love how it turned out. Oh my goodness, Leaf is here! Well, we'll have to talk to him next time and see what he wants then. So I'm looking forward to that. Oh my goodness, I wonder why he's here. I'm so excited to find out, so make sure you watch next time and we'll figure out why it is that Leaf's here. Thank you all so much for watching. I think we did really well today and I love how the school came out, so I hope you'll like it too. I hope if any of you are still at school that it's going well and you're remembering to take care of yourself. I know school can be difficult, but remember to hang in there and things are going to be okay, I promise you. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I had so much fun and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Before I go, I do just want to say an extra special thank you to my Patreon supporters for supporting me this month. Without your continued help and support, these videos wouldn't be possible, so thank you all so much for your help, especially my little fairies and little flowers. I love you all so much and thank you so much for everything. And to the rest of you, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you're having a super lovely day and remembering to take care of yourself. If you enjoyed this video, please do consider leaving a like and subscribing, only if you want to though. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you in my next video. Bye! Bye.